What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate with us ranch. No hate. So, I want to address something that someone said to me. A couple of people said to me, you know, about Tank Davis making comments about Eddie Hearn, saying that Eddie Hearn's a snake and he can't be trusted. And, right? Yo, he, you can't trust Eddie Hearn. Okay. I don't personally know any of them. And there's times, many times, I agree with Eddie Hearn. And there's times that I don't agree with his opinions in terms of how he conducts business. Um, well, the difference with Eddie Hearn, one thing I can say about him and the people that accuse him of things as far as that, Eddie Hearn will detail and explain what happened, um, what type of offer he made, what the conversation went like. And then, you know, if it's something where they can't really talk about um, or or something to where um, there can be lawsuits involved type of thing because not even because you're lying but just because like there may not be any action it's your word against someone else's but one thing that I can say is Eddie Hearn will tell you what happened what was said who did what okay um, like you know and and basically the people that's accusing him, what I do notice, they never tell you what Eddie Heron said or did or didn't do. The only person that has ever went back and forth with him um, saying, like, but but it's never about what he said or what he didn't say. It's more like example. When Frank Warren was speaking and said, well, you know, Tyson Fury is the one that, um, you know, he has an issue with what's going on. There's no way possible they can get the deal signed that fast you know the queen with the queen dying and all that on top of that and um you know that's just fury being impatient just to turn around the following week and change his tone completely and just say things like you know what's what's the hold up i mean they haven't talked to us or nothing they told us this and this and that okay that type of stuff but eddie hearn will tell you what he said to someone what they said to them and they never deny what he say right so my thing with that is I don't know what happened where Tank Davis is making these claims that we can say okay I understand why he don't you know um why he why he don't trust Eddie Hearn or whatever Deontay Wilder said the same thing and then he joined the team Do you understand what I mean and the fighters and the promoters have two different roles, as we know. So a promoter's job is if I can get a fight to happen, even if it means bringing this motherfucker in, so we got a better chance of making the fight happen than him being on the outside, right? No different from people like, you know, with all of this uh, talk about a, like brand brand splits. Okay, Crawford is with BLK Prime at, at one point, you know, um... Jerome Boots Ennis was exclusively to Showtime, okay? And the word exclusive comes up for a reason. Exclusively, okay? They basically, no, we don't want him fighting anyone that's not, you understand what I'm saying? Like, like we have to approve of it. We want, it has to be something we want to do on our terms. BLK Prime was a joke of a fucking company. That's why they folded after one fucking pay-per-view, okay? A trash pay-per-view on top of that, okay? But bottom line, you know, um, different fighters fight on different brands, and it's like, well, you know, you know, all this cross brand stuff, and so we know that things happen. A lot of times, it's not even the fighters' fault. It, it's, 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 you know, the, you know, other people involved. But for Tank Davis, man, he can't even trust Floyd Leonard Ellaby, according to him. So for him to even make the comments, like, okay, um, he can never say. He never said. What 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 is it about Eddie Hearn that 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 you're saying you can't trust him? I don't know what the case is. Okay, so what I'm saying though is, if you say something, you should have something to support your claim. I don't trust him because he's this, he did that. We had a conversation. He told me this, and then you understand what I mean. So, I I, I basically I basically look at when people say these things. A lot of time it's just a deflection. Because there's certain things that they're not doing that the fans want them to do. 
and they end up just making up excuses. I don't know what Tank's deal is with that, but um, Tank does weird things. Like example, I, I I told you guys in the video that Tank Davis is backing up Ryan Garcia in terms of the drug testing situation, and you know acting like he's acting as if it's impossible, you know, for Ryan to have um you know cheated like 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 this like this like this uh these two failed drug tests isn't real like like he didn't do it they're just making this up that that that's you know and and trying to talk about they're trying to set him up like oh he's going through with this whole thing when he himself said he thought ryan was taking something before their fight right okay but then he sends a tweet on x and says yo nigga i'm doing all this defending you all right, if I find out that you cheated, we will have a problem. You understand what I mean? So that goes to show you he's talking, but he doesn't even believe his own words. If I find out that, that you cheated, no, you're, 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 you're going to bat for him saying that, nah, he didn't cheat. You're saying he didn't cheat. He's being set up. So why'd you send him that stupid tweet? So when I say Tank is not really a smart dude when it comes to like the things that come out of his mouth, and you know he's been known to put tweets up about Floyd or Linda Ellaby, and then he ends up doing what? Taking a damn tweet down. He's more focused on arguing with people than he is focused on fighting Frank Martin. All he talks about is crazy shit. He talk about Clarissa Shields. He's talking about um, Floyd Owen the Saudis money and they kidnapped him and had him trapped in Saudi Arabia and all I mean that's this he's talking about all of these other things he you know and for somebody to be so-called Muslim he puts nothing but negative energy out so I'm listening to him talk and uh and, you know anytime you make a claim okay so what's your reason and what what is your reason for saying that you don't trust it that you can't trust him he's a snake and you know? same shit Beyonce was saying just saying <laughs> so when he says these things you see when people speak here's the problem fanboys love to question content creators because or you know getting their feelings because you say something that doesn't favor their favorite fighters here I'm a guy who always is like pushing for Tank to win but Tank been acting real fucking weird lately and I don't personally care if they want to lose like on a personal level no but at the end of the day, you know, people do a lot of fake shit. You know, like somebody owe you something and they'll purposely call you like when they know you're not available, let the phone ring one time. Oh, yeah, I called you like that type of shit. And they know that you wasn't available for the call anywhere at the time. Yeah, that's some fake shit. Yeah, you did call, bitch, but you know damn well I told you I'm not available at that time. So why the fuck would you call me at the time that you know I'm not available? That type of shit. Oh nah, cause you know, and blah blah, and, and it's just one lie after another after another. So yeah, even though you call, yes, I can see your number. You call, but I also told you I'm not available at that time. And they'll do that shit. Let the phone ring one fucking time. So at the end of the fucking day, what I'm telling you, when these fighters say things, let's say for example, people go, yeah. Yo, yo, it gotta be true. Tank said he's a snake, and Wilder said the same thing. Yeah, and also Wilder went and joined him. So, so, I mean, if he's a snake, what does that make you? You know how desperate that that makes you to, that 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 you expose yourself to be that you side with someone that's a snake that you don't like. Then you're taking pictures with them and uh, shaking hands and all of that. So, okay, you constantly talking about yo, get that money up. Where the money at? Bitching about money to Ellaby. And Floyd, right? That's what you constantly was doing. Now he's talking about Floyd is jealous of his twenty-five million, and like, yo, Tank. <coughs> Since when did you become a diva? You know, you you were more of a likable character when you when you talked less. Now the more he talks, it's just like he's feeling himself so much. He's to a point where he's not even making sense at all. He just says things. And that's just the way, like, for me, I listen to him. And he even, I even heard him say, yo, you know, um, he said, he said, Eddie Hearn, if y'all caught that, in that, that interview, he said, 
Yo, like Eddie Hearn promote Ryan Garcia. Like Tank, Ryan Garcia is with Golden Boy. What the fuck are you talking about? No, no. Eddie Hearn does not promote Ryan Garcia. He said this shit right in the camera, and I'm like, okay. So are you trying to involve Eddie Hearn and on this so-called setting up of Ryan Garcia? Like, what is this guy talking about? So, you know, when, when certain people talk, anybody talk, listen, pay attention. Just pay attention. It's not hard to see what you need to see. But if you're listening to them, wanting them to be right, and you're overlooking the fact that they're giving you false narratives. That's why even like when I tell you something, I'll say as of now, at this time, there's no information out about such and such a thing because that can change. You understand? That can change. But if I'm telling you something and, you know, I know I done typed in all these different searches and whatever. Like, for example, I'm hearing right now that Ryan Garcia has dropped his lawsuit against Vada. I don't know if it's true or not. So, I, I you know, because I've, I've gotten word like, though, you, you see what Ryan did? Nah, what do you do? I'm hearing that he dropped the lawsuit against Vada, yo. Okay, well, I'm going to do my homework on it, right? <laughs> because if he dropped his lawsuit, you know what that means, right? That means he knows he can't prove his innocence. Otherwise, you don't drop your lawsuit. Okay, and there's some things that I can explain about that. But I tell y'all what, just pay attention to what's going on and what's being said. So the next video that I do make anyway um, about that situation, I'll have more to explain in detail. But until then, I don't know that he dropped his lawsuit. Right now, it's 2.04, May 6th in the afternoon. We'll see how things go. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people and I would catch y'all on the next video.